So, how old is the Earth? I mean, how do we really know? It's one of those questions we all kind of take for granted, but today we're going to crack one of the biggest mysteries right under our feet. What is our planet's actual birth date? See, it's a way tougher question than you might think. Why? Because the Earth is basically a giant, slow-moving recycling machine. You've got forces like volcanoes and erosion that are always churning, always reshaping the surface. And over billions of years, they've pretty much destroyed all the evidence of the planet's birth. And that creates this amazing paradox, right? The very things that make our world so vibrant and alive have also completely torn out its first chapter. So if the clues aren't here on Earth, where in the world do you even begin to look for answers? Well, the solution isn't buried in some deep cavern or hidden at the center of the Earth's core. Nope, it's not down there at all. To actually read the opening pages of our planet's story, you have to look up. It turns out the most crucial evidence we have literally fell out of the sky. That's right. We have to rely on meteorites. Just think about them for a second. They're like these perfect little time capsules. They form from the exact same cloud of cosmic dust as our planet, but they've been preserved out there in the cold, clean vacuum of space for eons. So how do we actually read these alien rocks? Well, scientists use this absolutely brilliant method called radiometric dating. You can basically think of it as a tiny, natural atomic clock ticking away inside every single stone. And it works like this. When a rock first forms, it locks in a certain amount of unstable parent atoms. Then, over billions of years, those parent atoms predictably break down, or decay, into stable daughter atoms. All we have to do is measure the ratio between the parents and the daughters, and boom, we can calculate with amazing precision just how much time has passed since that rock's clock started ticking. So after scientists analyzed countless meteorites using this exact method, all of these tiny atomic clocks pointed to the same solid, undeniable number, 4.54 billion years. Now a number that big is almost impossible to wrap your head around. So let's put it in perspective. Imagine Earth's entire history, all 4.54 billion years, squeezed into a single calendar year. The planet forms on January 1st. But get this, the very first signs of life don't show up until late November. The dinosaurs, they show up, have their run, and then they're gone by December 26th. And what about us? Humanity? Everything we've ever done, every pyramid built, every book written, every person who has ever lived, all of it happens in a flash, in the final second before midnight on New Year's Eve. Our entire civilization is just a fleeting spark in the vastness of geologic time. So, yeah, Earth's birth certificate was written in the stars. It kind of makes you wonder, what will our final entry in its diary say?